For Myanmar's opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi, politics is a family affair. Her late father, General Aung San, is the hero of independence from British colonial rule and a unifying figure in the ethnically diverse country. He was assassinated in 1947, but he's been out on the campaign trail as Suu Kyi aims to be elected to parliament in the April 1st by-elections. Our father, General Aung San, gave his life for the country. He sacrificed his life. The previous junta did not show the same kind of affection for Aung San. They tried to wipe him from official memory as they held his daughter under house arrest for much of the last two decades. Seen as an emblem of resistance, his picture was removed from public buildings and his Yangon home was locked up. In 1980, when we do demonstrate demonstration, we use Aung San pictures as a national hero and also found out of the uh, armed force. With Suu Kyi free, the military and its allies are now trying to reclaim their founding father. The opposition leader and new president Thein Sein held this landmark meeting last August under a portrait of Aung San. It was the first high-level acknowledgement of both father and daughter. Since then, the democracy icon has turned politician, and many hope her election to parliament will be just the first step. It's not like General Aung San, as a father, is an influence on his daughter. It's more like he's an inspiration from one leader of the country to the next. Su Chi is now backing a movie about her father's life. The filmmakers plan to release the biopic in 2015 to mark the centenary of his birth, and it isn't just to entertain. The movie about Jen An Sun is part of the political game. On our side, we're making the film to appeal to as many people as possible. The movie is aimed at completing Aung San's public rehabilitation and boosting Suu Kyi's political status. But out on the streets, it's clear this father-daughter team was never really forgotten.